A lot of people ask me in person and in the comments how I met a girl across the world. And honestly, it's a pretty complex topic, but I plan to explain it in this video. So to summarize this video, you need two things. One is 50% determination. Two is 50% luck. I was an extremely lonely guy at college, too introverted to leave the house except to go to the gym, let alone to go to a party and meet a girl there. And even if I did meet a girl there, I'm not attracted to party girls. So I also had no clue what I was doing with my life at the time, zero. So basically, I just decided to uh, venture into a couple business opportunities. One of those business opportunities was basically just creating social media pages for Amazon sellers. So I was trying to grow my own Instagram as well. And one of the best ways to do that, at least at the time, I don't know about now, but one of the best ways to do that was to basically like people's posts and, you know, basically just give likes to receive likes in a sense. So I was basically liking pictures on Instagram endlessly and not really getting anywhere. No one was really liking my photos back. So then one day I happened to like this post that was related to my niche and had basically a ton of hashtags in it. And one of those hashtags was Polish girl. So once I came across this, I was like, I was thinking, wow, this is kind of weird. Why would someone put their country and stuff in the hashtag? And then I knew about Poland. I didn't know much about Poland, but I knew about Poland. And so I decided to click on it. And then next thing you know, there was just millions of posts. And I was like, wow, these people are really prideful of where they're coming from. So I was thinking, wow, that's pretty cool. So after coming across this hashtag, I decided to like a couple photos. And next thing you know, I was receiving a ton of likes back, which is ultimately what I was trying to do back in the day. So I think there's two sides to this because ultimately I think those likes basically just fed my ego. But at the same time, I came across Adriana's photos. So this hashtag was basically receiving photos every second. Like you could just refresh and then next thing you know, there'd be like a hundred more photos. So I happened to like her photo basically at the right place in the right time. And then from there, I liked hers. She liked some of mine back. And basically this kept going for a while and we were commenting on each other's posts. And then next thing you know, she DM'd me. Her English was so good. I, I honestly kept forgetting that she's Polish. I still do to this day, honestly, because her English is so good if you guys have heard her before. And then we start talking and talking basically every single day since. And like we basically just clicked. I mean, instantly clicked. And our personalities, our views, everything, morals, and we just clicked. So at the time, it was college, but it was summer, so I was working in a factory. So at the time, we were talking all day long, you know, during my spare time, during her spare time, we were just talking. You know, I was just thinking, you know, might as well buy a ticket. It's been some months now that we've been talking. That's basically what happened. I saved up money, and I bought a ticket. My parents were actually pretty supportive of it, surprisingly. They were thinking, it, you know, you can still turn it into a win-win situation. Number one, if it's not actually her, then you can just chill in Warsaw and basically just stay in a hotel for... 10 days or it's her and then you guys like each other and then that's that or maybe you don't like each other and then it was just a quick trip and then you go home but it wasn't and leading up to that i i just had this intense gut feeling to go to poland i mean like i've never had such of a gut feeling before so i've never been to europe before then and i was just extremely nervous so i was thinking you know what why not live a little fuck it buy it whatever and that's what happened it was weird because when i was going to fly i was just so nervous and i had this gut feeling that it was right though so it's basically these two conflicting battles of nervousness and no this is actually okay and you're living your life and you should do this so and next thing you know i land in warsaw so there i go out of the gate i see my beautiful girlfriend adriana and i see her we kiss we hug she was a lot taller than i expected she's actually pretty tall guys and i think this is one of the first things i said to her in person i was like wow you're a lot taller than i thought and i'm six foot so i was thinking wow you know not too many girls you know close to my height so and her friends were with her which is what i wanted i wanted her to feel you know safe and stuff and basically just moral support so chesh elsha and wukash you guys are awesome so next thing you know we're in poland for you know close to 10 days and i didn't only just fall in love with my girlfriend i fell in love with her country too too, and the language and the culture and everything about it so to this day i just i love poland so much yeah it's just it's crazy what happened i had no clue this would happen so it's been two or three years since we've been together now and it's just crazy because i had no clue if you would have told me in college that this would have been happening i would have had no idea and i would have said you're just lying because i would not have believed you and it's just it's crazy it's crazy what happened it's crazy how life is. It's Jetsha, right? It's Jetsha. So yeah, now I have plans to move to Poland and it's just crazy how life's turned out. So Adriana, you changed my life. Thank you. I love you. Yeah.
siarki, ciągle nie dowierzam, że los podarował mi ciebie, z tobą polecę.